Hello and uh, welcome back to the Angry Cook. Today we're going to do eggnog since it's pretty much that season. I should have done this about a month ago, but you know, brains being what they are and time being what it is. Um, what do we? This is a recipe from Alton Brown. Uh, give credit where credit's due. Um, made this first two or three years ago. And it was awesome. Um, there's one substitute, or not substitute, but change out that I would make. And I'll tell you about that when I get to it, I think. Uh, but um, if you're thinking of eggnog as the stuff you pour out of a carton, where you go to the liquor store and buy in a, in a plastic bottle, what this is, is not the same. It's entirely different stuff. Um, you're going to love it. Uh, even if you don't like eggnog, I'm pretty sure you'll like this. Trust me on that, okay? What we're going to use today is a dozen eggs. We're going to use the yolks, not the whites. We're going to feed the whites to uh, Jade and Brody uh, as part of their meals, um, a meal supplement uh, with a little bit of oil uh, over the next few days. We need a pound of sugar. A pound is a pint. A pint is a pound. The world around is a uh, expression that Alton uses, and that's true. It's a pint of uh, a pint of sugar is a pound of sugar. We're going to use a pint of half and half, a pint of heavy whipping cream, a pint of whole milk. We're going to use a cup of cognac or brandy. Don't go crazy with the prices. If you've got sixty or seventy bucks a pop to do it, knock yourself right out. I use the cheap stuff and it's just as good. We're going to use a cup of Jamaican rum. Can't find Jamaican rum, so I got Puerto Rican rum. Rum is rum is rum. And bourbon. Now, what I like to do, and I didn't do because, of course, when I went shopping, I forgot to buy, was I do two-thirds of a cup of these guys and two-thirds of a cup of scotch. What I found was the scotch rounds out the flavor a little bit and softens the alcohol a little bit. Uh, again, still cheap stuff, but... Uh, Try both ways. See what you like best. Um, so, let's get on with it. And we're going to, in this bowl, in this bowl we're going to be putting our egg whites. No, we're going to be putting our egg yolks. Egg whites are going here, the dogs. Got it? Got it. Simple crack, separate, don't use any gadgets, you don't need a gadget for this, and just let it fall. And there you go. Recycled cardboard that has food waste in it, such as pizza boxes with oil and crap all over it. <clears throat> Hence, I do that. Brody doesn't understand what's going on, but he looks knows food's involved in it, and he wants to be involved in it too. Okay, we're going to put the sugar and a teaspoon of nutmeg. Use fresh nutmeg if you have it. I haven't got it. It's allegedly much, much better. Uh, not allegedly, it is much better. Anything fresh is much better than prepackaged crap. 
That's a pot for sure. For sure, for sure. Now we're going to beat this together until it combines. Great ball of sugar off the top. Okay, this is about where the first recording week and a half ago left off. Um, I was stirring in the uh, the um, egg yolk into the, into the sugar. Now the object is, is to change, get the egg yolk to change color to a light yellow. To blend in all the sugar. Okay, that was a pint or a pound of sugar. And a pint is a pound of the world round. That's an Alton Brown say. Well, it's an old saying. But Alton Brown uses it. So that was two cups or a pound of sugar. Nice ribbony, light color. We're going to add a teaspoon of nutmeg. Get fresh nutmeg after this is gone. I'm getting a nutmeg and keeping it after this is gone, like right now, just about. And a quarter spoon of, uh, a quarter cup, a quarter tape teaspoon, Jesus, a quarter teaspoon of sugar, uh, a quarter teaspoon of salt. The idiots have a reason. To that, we added a pint of half and half, a pint of heavy whipping cream, a pint of whole milk, and mixed together. To that, we added a cup of bourbon, a cup of Jamaican rum. We don't have Jamaican rum, we're using Puerto Rican rum with the bat on it. We're using a cup of brandy. Uh, the recipe calls for cognac. Cognac tends to be too expensive, so I'm just using a, a simple brandy. What I do is, and I don't have it, so I didn't add it, is I usually add uh, a good, uh, not a good scotch, but a scotch. Uh, a lower end is okay. And what I do is do two-thirds of a cup of each. What we found is, um, the smoky scotch tends to level things out a little bit better, tends to mellow the alcohol out a little bit. Uh, doesn't matter either way. It's good both ways. Try it both ways if you want. This is our uh, second batch of the season. It's December 1st. Um, mix all that together. Put it in a large container. I'll show you what we have the current one in. I'm going to get quarter of it. No, not because. I think we got this at, uh, got a little spell on it. I think we got this at like AC Moore, some nonsense for under $10 or so. Uh, you can use multiple quart jars, um, whatever trips your trigger. Try to use glass, not plastic. Uh, so you can use plastic again. Otherwise, I think it's, it's going to infuse alcohol odors to plastic. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure how we it. This is going to go into a couple of uh, quart mason jars. So put it in the fridge for minimum two weeks. It never makes it in our house. Um, this was, I think, about that full, uh, and it hasn't been two weeks yet. So, you know, it's that good. What I said before was, if you don't like the eggnog that comes in the plastic containers, try that. Pretty sure you're going to like it. We love it. And everybody who gets tasted it loves it. Um, 
for Josh. I told you I'd get this up a little late. Uh, get the recipe up and have it up for Wednesdays, I hope. Barring any other damn uh, camera malfunctions. I think I'm going to go for some uh, new batteries. Thank you. And um, that's it for the uh, Angry Cook. Mm -hmm.